5.53 a.m. Woke up about 20 minutes ago and I'm about to go to the gym. I've got a uh, day loaded with uh, some content. I've got about three calls with uh, potential new clients. And yeah, my wife's not here. She's in Colombia, South America. So I'm like bored boss and don't know what to do with myself. Basically wander around the house uh, trying to clean it. So the day is gonna be cool. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I enroll some new clients here in the uh, Rapid Fire Music Academy. And yeah, let's go to the gym, let's get this work. I wonder if you're like me, where when you get to the gym, you like sit in the car for a few minutes. On your phone. I definitely do that. Like almost every time I come. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I do it for like five or 10 minutes. My little philosophy on like waking up early and stuff there's another entrepreneur who I love named Alex Hermosi. If you will follow entrepreneurship, you know who he is. But he's super, super yoked. And he's a big gym guy. And, uh, but he talks about morning routines. I really love his philosophy on morning routines because a lot of entrepreneurs are like, morning routines, you know what I mean? Like, you know how they be doing it, the cold plunge and the, and the, and the water with the mushroom and the magic potions and, 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 and the meditating and connecting with your hires, a bunch of bullshit. Their, their morning routines are longer than the fucking work days. And he's like, you wanna know my morning routine? My morning routine is I wake up, I have coffee, and then I go sit at my computer and work and there's my routine, like that's it. Isn't it fuck around. And that's cool as fuck, I love that. And I was like, ooh, that's dope. Cause I used to have like the journal, the reading, like the morning routine as well. And like, honestly, it doesn't actually help you. It didn't help me. It helped me feel good, but it didn't actually help me get work done. And getting worked on and making money makes me feel good. So uh, I stopped doing that. And I did for a while wake up. I did for about eight months. And I did that. I did wake up, water, coffee, go right to work. But like my body wasn't feeling very good. Like I was getting like an ileus psoas. Like really, really like pain, hips. Everything was, I was like, Ugh. And I just figured, oh, it's from sitting all day. But then I realized, I was like, you know what? What are, like, if I got back to working out in the morning right away, how I'd feel? Lo and behold, I feel really good. And I wake up at 5.30. Why do I wake up at 5.30? I wake up hella early because I want to get my day started. And it's so weird. And that's an interesting one, too, because when I was a kid, I used to wake up early to go to school. And I was like, I hate doing this. I know that I want to create a life where I can wake up wherever I want or whenever I want. And I'm going to wake up late. I used to say that to myself. But then now it's like I have the power to wake up whenever I want. And I still want to wake up early. It's probably because of my dad. My dad was a baker. He used to own a, a bagel shop called the Bagel King. And it was owned by his, his dad started it here in Walnut Creek. And then my dad just took it over when, when my grandpa passed away. And my dad, like when you're a baker, like you got to be there at like 3.30 or some shit. Can you imagine being at work at 3.30 a.m.? Like my dad did that for like 17 years. No, maybe longer, 20 some years. Grinding. So like, and, 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 and he's just always woke, been one of those people who wakes up early. My mom, not so much. <laughs> and I think I took after my dad on that one. I'm like, oh, I see the power. He still does it. He wakes up, wakes up and he works out. And I think I saw the power of that for so many years. And I was like, maybe that's embedded in me. So yeah, I'm about to go in this gym and do my kettlebell workout and come back out. It's only gonna be a 30 minute workout, but it's intense. I'll show you guys what it looks like and we'll get after it. So now what I'm doing is I'm putting together all of the media and all the videos and visuals for my new song, Building On My Own. I'm really excited about the song. I think the videos really, really, really came out great. Uh, thank God and shout out to my boy, A Gabe. He came out, we met up, we went somewhere that was really cool, had some really great views. We filmed, we did videos. And you know, I am really of the school of thought that like I don't personally want to put out songs if they're not gonna have some content with them. Like we're in 2024, middle of 2024. It makes no sense to be putting out a song if you're not gonna do videos with them. And it doesn't have to be like this, like horizontal videos, everything's vertical. So I don't even really be doing full music videos anymore at all. Everything I'm doing is like vertical, right? Where you hold the phone up and down. 
and uh, it's optimized for Instagram Reels and TikTok and YouTube Shorts. So I don't even want to put out songs if I can't put out videos with them. And you know, some of the tough parts for me have just been trying to do all that completely by myself. I can do it. I probably, maybe I'm just being kind of lazy and I totally could do it, but I don't. I would rather meet up with somebody and have them help me. So my brother Gabe, you know, came, helped me out and we were able to meet up and do it. So really, really, really excited about those things coming out. The videos are looking great. I'm about to just start editing them. And yeah, I do like pretty much all my own editing. Actually, not even pretty much. <laughs> I do. I do my own editing right now. Um, I have, I don't have a team to help me with that part just yet. And uh, that's just how I've been doing it. So yeah, really, really excited for the new song to drop. And then tonight I'm gonna do an Instagram live, which is really exciting because I haven't done that in a while where I do an Instagram live to promote the song. So uh, really excited about that as well. So that's what's on the agenda for today. Got some calls uh, with some potential clients as well. Tomorrow, I'm probably gonna bring the phone out. Uh, my pops and I are going out somewhere here in Northern California. We're gonna go kayaking. Pumped. All right, so we about to go kayaking today. About to hit the road, going to Jenner, California. It's gonna be lit. The weather is looking nice and uh, we're gonna be right on the water, gonna get some great views. It's Friday, we don't take calls and uh, most of Fridays we don't work. And also it's the cheat day, so I had to get a beloved from Rooted as well. Let's get it. So we made it out to Jenner and uh, I decided to change hats, switch hat. We got we to gotta match. So we about to go kayak. I, so are we bringing our phone? Yeah. On the kayak? Yeah. Oh, cool. She gives you a waterproof bag. Great. So we're gonna we're gonna do waterproof bags. You'll get some views. It's super foggy, but it's still gonna be a vibe. First stop on the kayak adventures of Joe and Lee. We're uh, we're here on Cow Island. There's some cows back there. They're all creepily staring at us. Uh, cows are very protective, although they taste good and they provide good liquid for your cereal. You don't want to mess with cows. Get your hiney first. A little stop off point, a little sandy hike. Damn, my hair is looking crazy. We got the ocean back there. I got sunscreen in my eyes. It's been burning me the entire time. <laughs> I got the sunscreen. Yeah, but I listen to my wife. She always tells me to put on sunscreen, so I did. And look at that beautiful, Are, I think our kayaks, yep, kayaks are right there. We just parked them, we walked up here, up this little cove. So to conclude the return of Leezy's life, season three, episode one, <laughs> uh, this is a reminder that there's more to life than work, a lot more to life than work. I'm really grateful and privileged to be able to take Fridays off. I went from just saying, hey, I'm just not gonna take calls on Fridays to I'm not doing any work on Fridays and I know that I'm privileged enough to do that and I used to not be and I know there's a lot of people who well, that's not their life and you might be one of those people watching but you can earn it you can work for it, you can get to the point where you know you can be like that as well so try your best give it your all and don't forget to enjoy the water a little bit roll me up and smoke me when I die <laughs> I said roll me up and smoke me when I die <laughs> Just have a big party and roll me up and smoke me and let me go up into the sky. <laughs>